Hello and welcome back to the third rail. By popular request, I took some Deutsche Reisbahn stock out for a running session. It was about time because I last did this over two years ago. I think it was one of the first running sessions I did after building this layout. The catenary wasn't even installed yet at the time. I put a link at the top if you're interested. We have an eclectic choice on the track. If you include what is currently stationary in the shunting yard and depot, I think we have an example of every Deutsche Reichsbahn model produced in the 1980s by Merkley. Getting these to work together on the automated block system was rather traumatic. There are large differences in performance between the locomotives, so speed, train compositions and running order can prove a bit difficult to get right and require a few compromises. I had to disable the braking sections in the stations, for example, to ensure long trains stopped in the right place. But by far the most dramatic experience was to discover that my streamlined red BR03 was faulty. It is the locomotive currently driving over the bridge section. Its driving wheels were completely loose, so I thought to myself, oh well, I'll simply take the grey version out instead, the 3391, and to my horror, it suffered from the same ailment. What followed were quite a few hours of tinkering to try and fix this. Wheel quartering was never my forte. Actually, all my previous attempts at fixing this type of fault had ended in disaster. But this time I managed to fix both of them. So, this annoyance turned out to be confidence building. I have another locomotive with similar problems in the collection, so I might do a fix-it video with it now. This could be a good reason to subscribe to the channel. So, we are up and running now. The speed is set to the minimum possible so that a couple of racers don't go 300 miles per hour whilst allowing the slower bunch to still manage the ramps. So I'll try a slightly different format for this running session. We'll start with a quick overview of the models as they go over the ramp. Then we'll move to the opposite side of the layout for a few minutes of station traffic peppered with a few short shots of what is happening on the main line. Then we'll do a few engine swaps so we can see the shunting yard and turntable in action. OK, let's have a closer look at the cast of characters. And we'll start with the locomotive that was never completed, the BR-53. This is model number 3102. You have not seen this one on the channel before. It's been with me for about 10 years. Uh, it's a bit battered, it's got a few defects, the cab ladders are broken and the light smoke fitting inside the locomotive is broken. Apart from that, it's a good runner. And behind we have open freight wagons with the coal loads I made in a video recently. See the little link at the top. Check this out. Nice Sunday. What's next? Ah, that's set 2850. It's an E04 with a few lit Bavarian type coaches. I've added an additional one to the set. It's a uh, 4136. Uh, this local is a real racer. It's a nice little set though. So we're going to wait for the freight train to enter the station. That's it, green. Next, we have set 2865. It's a Württemberg train of the Deutsche Reichsbahn. And the locomotive, the class 75, is another racer, as you can see. Then we have the lovely 2660 and a complimentary two coach set, 4261. It's a Bavarian train of the Deutsche Reichsbahn, which you've seen me fix in a little helper video recently. There's a little link at the top. 
it still doesn't derail. Ah, it's a very, very beautiful set. Now, our troublemaker, or one of the troublemakers, it's Märklin 3089 with a selection of Deutsche Reisbahn coaches. Now this train's quite heavy, so we're going to see a bit of wheel slip on the ramp. Nice to see it run though. So glad I was able to fix it. What a beautiful sight. Next, we have another lovely locomotive, the P8. It's model number 3099 with a few Donna Buxen. You saw all those as well recently in a video. There's another link at the top now. I love P8s, and this one is a late 1980s edition, so it's got a quieter motor than earlier releases. Very nice. And finally for that bit, we have a class 18, that's a Märklin 3518, and the Rheingold set it was made for, Märklin 4228. That logo is one you might remember from a couple of videos a while back. I had bought it for parts and decided to try and fix it. I also remembered it with uh, acid etched plates. My handiwork still holding. Look at all those shiny numbers. Uh, I've put a couple of links to the original videos at the top for this one as well. Right, it's time to hand over to the train, so let's move to the station.
that was it for that side. Now it would be a shame not to see the other streamlined loco on the move. I'll swap it with the red one. And this one smokes too. Beautiful, isn't it? So we're nearly at the end of the video. We'll end it with a few maneuvers. Uh, we're going to put a train together and hand it over to the uh, class 85 currently in the shed.
This is Mefflin 0308. It's one of my favorite locomotives and probably one of the quietest engines made by Merklin in the 1980s. Listen to the sound of silence. Marvelous! And that was it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, hopefully enough for you to give it a like and maybe even subscribe. Thanks as ever for all your support and bye for now!